KPRT K291 Kansas City Gospel 1590 106.1 FM It's 9 o'clock AM Welcome to the Morning Glory Show Turn your volume up and let the word to God pierce your soul 1590 AM on your radio dial And 106.1 on your FM pal Thank you for tuning in to the Morning Glory radio broadcast with Drs. Adam and Adrian Blackstock of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. Sit back and get ready to receive a word that will transform your life. Amen, amen. This is Pastor Adam Blackstock with the Glory Bible Fellowship International Church uh, giving you the Morning Glory, which is the radio broadcast and radio ministry of Glory Bible Fellowship. Uh, you can reach us at 816-795-1900. Again, 816-795-1900. Or you could uh, always worship with us on the web at gbfic.org. Again, gbfic.org. And if you have an Apple device or an Android device, you can always download our uh, church app and actually just uh, starting the process of being revamped. So it's just a good time for you to get the app. Uh, it's at GBFIC. Uh, is just search that on your Apple App Store or your Google Play Store, and uh, you we'd love for you to be a part of our church family. We have a lot going on, and I wanted to make sure that you knew that uh, God is doing something supernaturally. So I want you guys to stay right on top of things uh, that God is doing. Of course, on the twenty third, uh, Prophetess will be hosting. Uh, part two of We Win uh, Deliverance Meeting. We Win a Deliverance Meeting. It's been a great time in the Lord on the uh, first one on the 8th. But now it's time for part two. And we love for you uh, to be there. Uh, tomorrow, uh, let me just say this again. Uh, tomorrow, I will be ministering at 945 at the New Vision International Convocation. Uh, uh, that is... Uh, the uh, the group that Apostle Larry B. Aiken uh, is over, and it'll be at Memorial Church, or it will be at uh, uh, the uh, Canaan uh, Missionary Baptist Church. Either one, it'll be uh, one of those at 9.45 a.m. Check the New Vision International website for details about that. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm teaching on a subject that I'm very uh, diverse and versed in uh, the Jewishness of Jesus, so I will be out there tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, anybody that's uh, available, come on out and get a word from the Lord. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to talk to you on the radio. Oh, last but not least, Team Believe has its fundraiser at the Grandview uh, McAllister's. We'd love for you to come and join us at the Grandview McAllister's for your meal, 5 to 10 on June the 26th, which is Tuesday, next Tuesday, one week from today. Uh, tell them that you're there uh, supporting Team Believe, and 20% of your meal will go back uh, to our team to travel and take care of these kids as we uh, compete on a national level. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, this weekend. We have our national qualifying track meet in Joplin. Uh, it's a great time in the Lord where we'll be competing against teams from Kansas, Missouri, uh, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. A really a tough, tough meet, but a fun one, and we're looking forward to it. And uh, we have some athletes that can compete. Uh, I'm, I want to talk to you today. I want to talk to you today. Get your pens and paper, your Bible, uh, as we talk about the Word of God. And this is the season where the word of God begins to uh, bring about a strength in 2013, uh, 2018. I just got back from the 7,000 more International uh, Convocation uh, and Fellowship 
such a good time in the Lord. I'm full with the word, but I want to talk to you specifically about uh, the word of God and how powerful it is. Uh, don't you know, Sister Debbie, that um, uh, when you speak the word it, with God's backing, the word becomes life. So I want you guys in your uh, in your spirit to get a word uh, from God uh, that you are able to speak over your life and begin to prophesy over your life because uh, when that happens, the Holy Spirit makes that word become a reality. Look to your neighbor and just say, neighbor, this word is coming a reality. I, I'm ready to go ahead and give you the word John 1. Uh, go with me to John 1, John 1, 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Uh, can I share with you th today, this morning, in this Holy Ghost hour, uh, that uh, the word of God has always been there. Uh, some people think that the word of God started with the old with the New Testament or the word of God even started with the Old Testament. But the Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was established before the establishment of the word. Let me help you all again, because this is something that most people can't understand the concept that the word was there before the world was established to write the word down. What am I saying? I'm saying that the word spoke the word into existence and the word then spoke uh, uh, the world into existence. And then the world got smart enough. People got smart enough to write down the word that God had given them because it was from directly from God. I know that it could be confusing to you, but God is already moving in, in this place and God is already moving in uh, this atmosphere God uh, should uh, uh, be able to receive from God the word of God. What am I saying, preacher? Uh, uh, what am I saying, uh, radio family? What am I saying is that uh, when you need to know what your future is, look, is going to look like, look to the word because it's prophesying to you. Here's what I'm saying. I'm saying if you feel like right now you're being ill, God said the, with his stripes, you are healed. <laughs> uh, or if you feel like you're sick and, and need help, there is there a bomb in Gilead? Yes, there is. Uh, can, it, can I say that healing is under his wings? I'm saying that the word already prophesied your breakthrough to you. Uh, so that's where we are. Uh, I want you to understand that uh, in the beginning, that means before Genesis the word was established. Mm, what am I saying? So what? Le so sometimes we have to go back to the beginning to see what the word was saying to you. Uh, in the beginning, John Genesis chapter one. We can go there. And, and uh, God said, "That's a word. Let there be light, and there was light." I, I wish I had some help up in here. God saw the light and said that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and in the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And God made the firmament. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. Nothing was named without God. Nothing is, was established without God. Why? Because the word had to be there because the word was there all the time. It says in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. He what? He created it with his mouth because God said it. It's so God said it. It's so uh, if, if your child is sick and needing uh, a healing. God said it. He is healed. It's so if you're in financial despair and you need a financial breakthrough, God said it. It is so what I'm saying to you is you have if you find it in the word, because the word is God. If God said it, it is so let's keep looking. Let's look at it. God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yield and seed. 
and the earth brought forth grass and god said let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let there be a sign for a season for days and let them light be in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so god makes it so i wish i had some help up in here today because i want you to understand that if god said it it can't be a mistake it must be so Whew, i just if anybody could get that in their spirit and, and just say that uh, uh that's what i love what god uh, did for my family my fa I, I i begin to prophesy my financial breakthrough and my uh, debt cancellation and god made it so i, I begin to prophesy that the church uh, will be debt free and god is making it so i i, I begin to prophesy the supernatural healing and deliverance uh, for the people of god and god made it so what am i saying i'm saying that god will make it so just uh, by finding it in his word the bible says i'll be a lender not the borrower god made it so uh, and god said that i'm the head not the tail god made it so well y'all not talking to me uh it, god said i'll be blessed going in and blessed coming out what does that mean that god will make it so uh, God is when he says it because he was there because he was from the beginning because he was there before you were even born God made your life uh, so he, he knew you'd have free will to make the choices that you were going to make but that doesn't stop your destiny that delays your destiny because your destiny has been pre-authorized and pre-set up by God. What am I saying? I'm saying that, uh, I, like I said on Sunday, this was really powerful for fathers and mothers. The Bible says, train up a child in the way that they should go. A and uh, it will not depart from them. But it says, and when they get old. Whew, like, let's go to Proverbs. Y'all going to challenge me today. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mm -mm -mm. Proverbs. 22 train up a child in a way he should should go verse 6 and when he is old he will not depart from it but 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 pastor but bishop but apostle but preacher my child is acting funky i don't even know if he's saved parents you did what you're supposed to do Train up a child in the way he should go. And look what it says. And when he is old, it didn't say when he was now, when he was 13 uh, or when he was 15 or, or when he was uh, in, uh, uh, when he was five years old, you know, or, or one of them wild children, uh, baby kids. Well, it didn't say when he was uh, young. It said when he is old, uh, uh, he will not depart from it. That means uh, there is some time, there is uh, some mercy, there is some grace, there is some favor that's going to hit your child to make them recognize what mama them told them, what grandma done showed them, what uh, big mama done said in their life and ministered to them when they were younger. How many people know that it, it, parents, it's not your fault uh, that your child is acting crazy at age 18. It is not your fault that at 25, even your adult children are not uh, are acting the way they should. The Bible says uh, when they are old, the restoration of the word that you gave them when they were small is going to come back to them. Uh, I, I, uh, sometimes we miss that in the, just in the translation. The Bible says, uh, direct your children unto the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. The, that's in the New Living Translation. See, this is what I'm saying. You have to speak word over your children uh, because in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. Y'all not going to talk to me. So, uh, uh, God is there so if you can speak that over your child uh, your child will manifest his destiny in the future it doesn't say it's going to manifest his destiny tomorrow it doesn't say he's going to manifest his destiny in 10 in, in 10 years it says at some point when he is older when she is older that destiny is going to manifest i spoke life over my children there is going to be a role in god's uh 
uh, household at some point for my children, all of them. I, I know they might not act it 100% right now, but what I'm saying is that there's a role in the house of God. I already see Adam prophesying. I already see Daniel uh, in full administration uh, as a principal somewhere. I already see Brandon, a lawyer. I already see those manifestations, but I'm talking about the godly things that God is getting ready to bring up to them. I'm talking Kennard and Kentuan. They, they, they were adopted in be just, just like we are adopted into God's family. They were adopted into my family, and they will receive the benefits as I spoke into them as they were children. What I'm saying is God is going to take them to a higher level. What I've taught to them will not depart from them. It may not fully show right now, but I promise you the word of God is alive in them because all of my children are saved. Uh, this is some good stuff. This is good stuff. Uh, uh, God continues to speak. He continues to speak. Let's go back to John 1 and, and continue to go down here. This is, so, this is so good. Because in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. I love that. The same was in the beginning with God. That means the Word was with God in the beginning. What is it saying? Uh, uh, is that uh, uh, the Elohim, the, the multi God in the multiple, was there. Let there be light. Let us make. Let, that's why it says in the beginning, in Genesis, it said, let us make man. It didn't say, let me make man. It said, let us make man. God in the multiple. Elohim. Uh, it means God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. Uh, three and one was there from the beginning. That's why when you come to John 1, it says, the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made uh, that was made oh then it goes on and, and, and then uh it goes on it says there was a man sent by God whose name was John the same came for witness to bear witness of the light and, th and that all men through him might believe he was not the light but was sent to bear witness of that light this is critical because a lot of people uh, don't understand you have a role. Your role is to shine God's light through you. Your, your, your role is not to be the light. We only got one light. Jesus. He, his light shines through us. But we are not to take any of his light away. Take any of his shine away. To walk in. Uh, we are to walk in his marvelous light. But uh, just to be a reflection of the light or a pass through of the light. Uh, I see you getting ready to say something. <laughs> kind of like, you know, when you plug in the lamp and the power is coming from the source and God is, and Jesus is the source to bring that light to the room through the lamp. So, a amen. That's uh, the filament inside the bowl, but uh, <laughs> it, it is act the actual light, the covering like us where the covering of the Holy Spirit uh, yes. that is supposed to shine through us. Uh, yes. But let me just tell you out, too many people are not transparent enough to show the light. Oh, well, that's a so whole can't, other you can't even shine, <laughs> can't even shine through it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you notice that the bulbs with, with, with that have... You like that, uh, that fuzzy, that, that frosty look on mm -hmm. it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not <laughs> as bright as yeah, the they, one that's clear. They're not as bright as the ones that are just glass. <laughs> that's what we're saying. We're saying that we should be the light uh, uh, and we should be high wattage, right? The, the filament should be the filament in there is depends on how strong the mold so is. So bright that if it's dark, it will light up the whole place. Oh, come on, preacher! <laughs> this is this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. The we as the it's, that's what I said. He was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. Of the that's light. what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be witnesses of the light. Amen. Can you imagine how do you bear witness of the light if you look dark? Mm. You can't, man. Uh, th this is this is good stuff. This is good stuff. It, it's simple, right? Uh, you supposed to. Get and he into told everybody to write your notes. Says, so "Yeah, I wrote mine down." <laughs> see, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you are sitting as a witness of the light, when you walk in a room, it should get brighter. It shouldn't get darker immediately. Yes, 
that means you should bring joy because that's part of the light you should bring a uh, healing that's part of the light you should bring deliverance that's part of the light you should shine light in the darkness but but preacher you just told me i'm not the light i know you're not the light <laughs> but you're supposed to bear witness of the light that all men through uh, him might believe that's what the bible says this is not what i'm saying uh the uh, he was not the light but was sent to bear witness of the light that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into Man, I, if I you know what? what? When people see, you can almost feel and see when somebody walking over, you already know that your spirit just automatically connects no matter what. They don't even have to speak when you know they have that light just shining through them. Oh. Yeah. You, you know how this is what Moses went. And whenever Moses went into the presence of the Lord, he came back with more glow. Yes. We as the body of Christ have to get more into the presence of the Lord so that every time we step out of the church building, out of the services, out of our prayer closet, out of our moment of prayer, we should walk out with more glow. And somebody should be able to see it. Ooh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's what they, they start getting afraid of Moses because Moses is coming. <laughs> right. And, and, and he looked he look even more majestic. They're like, what's going on with him? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I believe that as you continue to walk in the God likeness, you should look more majestic. Majestic. Mm. The Bible says that uh, uh, we are supposed to be uh, uh, the witnesses for him. The Bible said, but why should we hold our light uh, underneath a bushel? What it was saying was we have the ex we have to be able to expose the light of God that's in us to other people. Why keep it hidden? We we are now in your line of work. You don't have to keep your your relationship with Jesus hidden. But right. So many people keep their to, relationship yeah. with Jesus hidden because they're at work, because they're with their friends, because they go to school, whatever it is. We should be the light amongst darkness, no matter where we are. And it's in your walk, it's in your action. That's when you can't, if you can't speak it out, like if you're at work and there's like no religious or stuff going on here or whatever the case may be, but. If you're able to walk in there and God's word is in you and that light is shining through you, people will see it anyway. Even this, even the ones that don't want to see it, they're like something about that person. Mm -hmm. They had a glow on their face. They got a glow in their spirit. Why? Why every time they walk in, everybody's so happy? That's because of Jesus in them. Yeah. Uh, I, when I worked at Disney, this is some time ago now, but when I worked at Disney, they used to call me before scheduling uh, uh, sales meetings or big events because I knew the God calendar. Mm. And they didn't want me not to be there right? because uh, of the God calendar that I serve. Now, they were like, they knew Easter. Everybody knows Easter. Right, right. I, right. I, I don't call it Easter, <laughs> but they, that's when they call it Easter. They know Mother's Day. They know Christmas. And they, they, they know a few holidays. But they would call me for the minor holidays and just say, man, this looks like it might be around uh, – yeah, Feast of Tabernacles. Or they right, so around. they had to know because of what, how you walked yeah. it. Yeah, and they said, well, uh, are, is that going to affect not just you coming, but you think there's going to be some New York travel agents that are not mm. going to come? Or, or you think there's going to be some Miami travel agents that are not going to come? I said, you know what, you might want to change the date a couple of days here and there. Right. And, and they would be, okay, thank, thank you, Adam. And they would say that because uh, they knew the walk that I had, the light that I yes. had, the shine that I had. And it wasn't my shine. It was God shining yes. through me. Now, it, and this is where we as a, a body of Christ get it twisted, right? That we are supposed to walk in God's marvelous light, but not to draw people to us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, we. Uh, I, I don't. I, it's supposed I, to be a reflection of bringing those people to what's in you. They want what's in you, which mm -hmm. is Christ. That's yeah. what it should be about yeah. drawing, drawing them into Christ. Every time you walk in a room, it's not even about you. It's about them seeing the Christ in you, and they want what you have on the inside of you. Yeah, and and, and show. Let me. This is this is something that uh, I'm teaching the people now. Good, good show. What I mean is, uh, you don't have to put on performance. Nope to be light people mm -mm. right I, I i've been to plenty of churches and there's nothing wrong with the way churches uh, do it's just not my style i don't need a smoke machine i don't need fake fire i don't need uh uh, uh all this hoopla to make you want god mm. all right all that is you need a preached word you need a, a a praise and worship why because pray god inhabits is the praise of his people yes uh and and those that worship god should worship him in spirit and in truth Right, so I believe that, uh, and we have that, and we have a preach word, we have tithes and offering, and, and we have a service, right? Every now and then we'll do a skit in there and there, but we will not do all gimmicks right. 
to get the people. You to get them in there. Because it, the, you have to keep the people when you do it that way. Yeah. And yeah. I believe that the word of God is what keeps people. That's that's it. And it, it, it's proven here. Because in verse 14, John 1 and 14 says, And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. And the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Powerful. And, and when you think about that word, yeah. and, you, and you hear when he's saying in there, it's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And if you think about the Bible verse you read maybe 20 years ago, and you read the same one today, it's like a different anointing yeah. on it. It's like, oh, I didn't see it that way, but I've mm. read that a thousand times. Man. Yeah. I love that because you think about it, right? That word became flesh to you. Yes. What it's saying, it became real. It was it, real. It became tangible. Yes. Sometimes when we were younger, God, they would speak a word. We're like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. But uh, as you got older, it became tangible. It became an experience. The reason why I could, I, I'm a word person is because every time I get a revelation from the word, it becomes tangible to me, and it shows out in my in my activities. Yes. Right? Yeah. It, the word don't mean nothing. It, it, it won't change you. But when the word means something to you and it becomes tangible, becomes flesh and walks among me, I begin to follow it. You get chills. It's just like this whole thing. Just, you think about the word, it's just like a chill go across your whole body. Yeah. Or I just uh, uh, Pro Prophet's got a deliverance meeting on a Saturday, right? And, and uh, when, she, when she preaches at this deliverance meeting, Something she preached earlier this this week or less, this month may not have hit somebody. Right. But come on the 23rd in the morning, she might hit somebody with a word that hits them like never before. Yes. yes. And that word becomes flesh to them and becomes tangible. You need to come and join us at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road, 10 a.m. on Saturday morning for the deliverance meeting. But always come for Sunday services at 9 a.m. And at 1030 with our worship service, 9 a.m. is our fellowship breakfast. We love you. God bless you. And I wish I had more time. But <laughs> Jesus <laughs> is, is Lord. Lord. To you, feel free to partner with us by sowing a seed at gbfic.org or mailing a check to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri, 64064. If you need special prayer of any kind, please feel free to call us at 816-795-1900. Hey, I'm down here at your feet. Mm, wait, you're a basketball. Yes, the basketball. The kids left me here a long time ago. Man, I miss flying through the air and hearing those shouts of joy. Could you give me a little air and remind the kids of how fun I still am? Okay. Great, let's get bouncing. As Native American parents and caregivers, our encouragement to healthy lifestyles for our kids is helping them get outside and play. Get ideas, get involved. Get going at letsmove.gov slash Indian country. Brought to you by USDA, HHS, and the Ad Council. Hey, padres de hijos con asma, aquí están los Respira Fácil, con otro de tus hits favoritos. No fumes en casa, no fumes en el carro, no fumes en casa. Prevenir los ataques de asma puede ser tan simple como hacer que tu casa y tu carro sean zonas libres de humo. Para más consejos de cómo frenar los ataques de asma, visita noattack.org, un mensaje del EPA y el Ad Council. Six, nine. Back to the Debbie Lee Morning Show on Gospel 1590 at 106.1 FM. Psst. Yeah, you, it's me, your heart. Listen to me. We've got to talk. High blood pressure is serious, and yours? Whoa. What happened to us? We used to be so much more active. But lately, you've been ignoring me. I know you think I'm just going to keep ticking away forever, but you're wrong. You can do.